Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder again, and we're here for another short episode. Um, among all the things that I've been doing besides these port permits, I've been doing research for Oxford, and it seems to me that I've gotten quite a bit, I don't know if how important this is to see, but every time that you finish your research, you know, you go in and you hand it in at some sort of archive, and you get another one. Well, at some point you've done them all, or you've done all the ones you want to do, and you'll still get like a little notification in the bottom left-hand corner that says, Changes have come to college. Go back and see your new changes. Well, I'm pretty close to seeing those changes, or I should have assumed to take that back. I, they told me I'm going to see some changes. So I'm here in Oxford in England, and that's uh, or London, and uh, I'm going to head in here and see what those changes are. So I went to Oxford. I'm going to talk to the professor. If I could successfully do that. Okay, we handed in our thesis, which was the uh now i don't have one yeah it was my one that i just did there and we're going to talk to him one more time it says we're, it has been successful and now we're going to check it uh check out see if there's anything new here um oh, wait sorry wrong button research and we triggered a new cutscene here blah 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 i don't care any of this stuff you're gonna have to do all this yes lorenzo Demici. D Medici, whatever. Come on. Get through all of this. Really, what you're doing this for is to expand what you can be doing research with at Oxford to get bonus skills. Just answer the questions, move on. A short Let's Play episode if we can get through all of this. I just click out anything. I'm not even reading. Blah, 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 blah. Talk to him again. And we have now got new items. So we've got new um, research that we can do. So, And you'll see I have a few extra things here that I didn't have before. So we go to our building. We choose the right building. And you know which ones you've completed because it says research complete. Research complete. This one I haven't done. I, I purposely ignored this one just because I don't want to do rank three discoveries to do this. It's not that big a deal for me. Uh, this one here, research into activities performed in the field. Field activities. What would trigger them? Trade goods through procurement, fishing, and collection. That's an easy one to do. I think I've already had that one. Just chose not to do it. This one I've done before. 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 This one don't really care to do. This one I've done before. This one's one of the new ones I just got. Reading the situation, practicing exchange, improve relations with one of, with one of the tavern barmaids. Uh, you get easier friendship levels with tavern maids when giving the presents. That's not a bad thing to have, I guess, if you want to have the ability to hand in quests to barmaids wherever you are. Something fine, but not really my main concern. I've done that one already. Colony to attack we've done, and then now here's the other one that we just got. Advanced production. This gives you perform advanced production, increases the amount of contribution received upon sharing info with the Florentine artisan. So there's something here you got to do. Um, you got to go to the artist, uh, the craftsman in a major city, and I think do some sort of production, and then you'll get a bonus. Secret of sharing info, the amount of contribution received upon sharing info. Yeah, again, not something necessarily that I have to do, but you know, so be sure to check in here often with the uh, the. The, the school or the college because you're going to get all sorts of little bonuses. Um, let's just do this one because this is something different. Just obtaining trade goods through procurement, fishing, and collection. That's easy enough. Pretty sure I have fishing because if I don't, then I've just made this. Yeah, we got fishing, so that's what we're going to have. We're going to do it. But yeah, now, now you know how to do that. Pretty simple. Um, in case you're curious now, where that leaves me with this. So here's what I'm currently working on, how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do catch what looks like to be 100 fish in order to do this. That'll be not hard to do. These are the things I've worked on, how far I've gone along my, my progress, how many submissions I've done, how many credits I have available. Credits are necessary in order to apply your skills. So I've already applied this one, which is probably the first one you should do is scholarship recognition because recognition, it gives you... Um, it's easier to raise your valuation upon submitting a treatise to college, so you'll get more, um, uh, I think, reward for it. Yeah, I guess contribution. And then the next one I did was ship speed up, which 
again, important to have to have people work on all those three of them. And as you go through college, you're going to get all the different ship upgrades, so ship speed upgrades. So I think it adds like an extra 15, 20% of extra speed. So definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, I mean, I could work on these. I could also grab these other ones if I really wanted to. But in order to switch the skills and go to skill settings, you have to drop and or add the skill. You know, this one's not costing me anything because it's a skill that's already done. But if I chose a different skill, let's say the bargaining aid one to augment my social ability skills, it's going to cost me credits. So you earn the credits as you hand and stuff. So you always got to be doing research in school in order to get it. This thing, it cost me 500 to do. You know, bargaining across 500, and you know, that costs a lot to increase your production success rate. So I'm going to keep with the ones I had, so I'm not even going to bother changing them. I like these two for now. So. Um, by now, you guys should have a better idea of how to do school uh, at this point. So I'm going to use this episode to show you this, but I also want to use this episode to do one little thing um, to remind you uh, where we're at with our port permit quests. We have done a lot of the port permits. The next one that's on our list is the Suez Canal. It is imperative that you get, you discover the appropriate cities of Cairo and Suez. That is the most important thing right now. Be sure to get that. You just can't not have them, otherwise you can't do the quests. So, that is what I've been working on, and it's going to take me some time. It's not a easy uh, quest to do uh, early on game, but that's something that I'm focusing on right now, is I am working on... I just got Cairo just got Cairo, if we go down here. Just got Cairo, and now I need to get Suez, which is over here. Be sure to bring Disguise. I've already went and got my Disguise that I need to get in. I went to Tunis, which is on the northern end of Africa, in the Mediterranean. I bought the Biranyuk, the Takia, and these Arabian Shoes, and it gives me a total of Disguise level of 70. Which I think 50 might be what you need, so more than enough. Just be sure to have them for when you get down there because you won't be able to get in. So this is where my journey really begins now because I have a lot of uh, stuff I need to bring or stuff I need. It's a lot of sailing I need to do to get down there and, you know, it's just going to be a while. So I'm going to do start doing the sailing trip because I'm definitely not going to be able to do it, you know, all in one day here. I don't have the time, but, you know. Do, do yourself a check-in, stop it at these places as you go, pick up some stuff, do some questing, do some selling along the way. Get all your ports that you have, may not have already gotten. Again, while I haven't gotten any of these ports, so I'm going to pick up all these ports while I'm there. Potentially all of these ports while I'm here. And then maybe make a stop in Calicut to get some more pepper before I head back. And then I will show you guys how to do the quest for this. Um, it's going to be a while, might be a week or two before we even see the next episode, but this is one of those more tedious quests that you have to have uh, some stuff done in advance. So hopefully this was informational about college and gets you prepped for what to do for the next uh, for the next major port permit quests. Be sure to have those two cities discovered and have some sort of disguise so you can discover them. Alright everyone, take it easy. Thanks again for watching.